police custody basics and some general issues with the older detainee. So here, a couple of issues that I want to seek clarity on is the fact that the, the older we get, the more our bodies change and in some respects deteriorate. And if we think about the average person in their 20s, they're most probably at their peak in relation to things like bone density and also then lung function. So the elasticity and capability of the lungs in the 20s are at their peak. Now, when we're then looking at detainees who might be, um, certainly women who are menopausal, you know, through menopause, or the older person in their 60s, 70s, and particularly those kind of uh, arrests might be connected with things such as over the prescribed limits. Now, the older person, there's additional risks if, for example, use of force is going to be used because the bone density, particularly in women, significantly decreases for older women. So there's more chance of an older person, if any uses force, if anyone uses force upon them, receiving a fracture or a dislocation. Now the other thing then to think about is lung capacity because even without any underlying medical diagnosed condition as we age our lung capacity and our lung function can significantly deteriorate. So if you've got an older person who for example is going through the intoxilizer procedure at the station but are saying it's so hard I can't I can't blow it and that they appear to be trying to blow it might be that there is a an anatomical genuine reason for them not being able to provide the sample and therefore to consider is that a reasonable excuse and for going on to the blood request so the issue with age naturally our bodies decline and specifically I want you to think about bone density for any use use of force but lung capacity and lung efficiency for the likes of the in station evidential procedure with the intoxilizer. Thank you.